Hello guys, I'm the sister here and welcome to another speed build in Sims 4. This time I was thinking about some gypsy trailers or gypsy wagons, I guess. And because the Sims 4 laundry day came out and I have it, which is unfortunate, it is fortunate <laughs> that I have it, I decided to do a uh, more bohemian free spirit kind of build and I was thinking of gypsy wagons because when you think three free spirit you only can think of a gypsy wagon I don't know why okay so there are going to be three gypsy wagons and they're going to be colorful and each and every one is going to be um, individual painted they're not going to be the same and there are three tiles wide and I know how long I was trying to use those um, windows that came with of course laundry day staff pack but unfortunately it make the trailer look so tall and I was thinking that I don't know no trailer or wagon looks that tall so I will get rid of those windows unfortunately and this is the third time or fourth time I'm saying unfortunately so I'll not I'm not going to say it anymore so I'm going to talk about no, I was trying to talk about the family that lives here, but first I want to talk about the setup. So um, they're going to have lots and lots of activities outside. They're not going to have much inside besides the sleeping beds, you know, the place where they can sleep. That's the wagon. So outside they're going to have a fire pit. A grill uh, the showers are going to be outside it's going to be a tub because they have kids not kids but yes they have and both kids and toddlers so they're going to need a bath for them to be washed and um, the Sims for outdoor retreat game pack came with a nice looking outdoor shower which they are going to use so yeah and for the toilet they're going to use the bush you know uh, they came with city living I guess they are not going to have any toilet so this is true of the grid living here <laughs> I don't know if it's hygienic I don't think so but yeah that's off the grid it's free spirit i guess you're not going to have some indoor bathroom nope i've said for this lot three traits and they are you know the trait that lets stray cats in and stray dogs so there are two and the third one is not haunted the other one cursed and I yet don't know what cursed means I played in this for a couple of days and nothing happened I don't know what the cursed trait means I will have to look it up I guess so a bit about the family oh and outside they're going to wash their laundry of course they're not going to have a washing dryer machine they're going to have the eco-friendly washer and dryer <laughs> for the laundry what else oh it's going to be um, oh they're going to have a small garden a small a small vegetable garden and a place for them to kind of burn the garbage garbage yeah I improvise it's not improvised it's something that came I guess with city living 
Okay. About something about the family who lives here. So there are these Romani gypsies, some kind of, you know, those gypsies that travel a lot, nomadic gypsies. And they are like this the old woman who can tell your future, you know, by doing some hands reading, palm reading, you know, or coffee reading or something. She's going to tell you the future. She's the oldest and she has two sons. One that is a young adult and one that is a teenager. And they both live in here and the young adult one has a wife, a kid and a toddler. And the wife has a sister. So they all seven are living in this place and they're getting alone along I guess they're not allowed to not get along so yeah and it was I think the first time I've seen a sim two sims sharing a bed that you can't you can enter the bed from only one side you know what I mean because it's near the wall and you can go around and sit on the other side and it was actually kind of a cute interaction you know scoop over or how is that called yeah and they're going to have a wishing well wishing fountain sorry because I thought this is kind of a magical place. Maybe you gave some money to the gypsy and the gypsy are going to let you give more money to the fountain. <laughs> and the fountain is going to give you some wishes or not. You know, Because frankly I don't really know how the fountain works. I've never played with that. And there are a lot of things from the stuff packs that I've, I have never got to enjoy in the game. One thing is bowling and I've f thought about the bowling stuff pack for a long time and I wanted to play I was happy when I've seen the bowling stuff pack came because it is a new addition to the scenes never got to play it I never got to play with that fitness wall stuff that you can climb which is a bummer I've never got to play with so many things I want to play with all the collectibles I want actually to make a let's play and do all the collections all of them I want to do so many things in the sims so many things so right here they're having a garden and the mm, how do you say the fence is colorful because the gypsies the gypsies I knew in in my country they are extremely colorful people they will use uh, all of the colors name a color bam they have it <laughs> and they use it with a bunch of other colors that you don't even knew existed they're bright neon colors almost every time and many 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 colors colors all over the place and actually when where they live there are a lot a lot of stuff and I thought I maybe I captured this thing on this lot extremely well because they do have quite a lot of stuff and I've tried to clutter the outside as much as I could and let uh, of course let the sims have some ability to walk around and I've placed a bed outside because maybe some of the s someone wants to to sleep outside under the stars because it's very very inspiring I don't know it's it's nice maybe to sleep under the stars I've never never slept under the stars before 
and I'm using those wind chimney wind chi chimneys I think they're pretty a pretty pretty nice addition I don't know I, I've never seen someone played with that but the sound is very relaxing and cool I love it and I'm placing the pink wishing well because we are on a gypsy ground everything has to have a bit of a color a color that you never never thought that it can be used in that place what else lots of lots of clutter outside I've tried to do to place so many baskets and pots and I don't know everything boxes to stuff 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 everywhere because they don't have so much room indoors to have everything so they just placed it outside I guess and I've played in this in this for a couple of steam days and I have to say it's extremely hectic I don't know if this is a pl play on us. Is that a word? A word? No, it's a word in my language. How do you say it in English? Oh, let's move on. So it's extremely hectic around because there the kid was crying. The stray cats and dogs were everywhere barking and doing all the noises and leaving stuff on the ground and washing the clothes and there are puddles everywhere and plate food play old plates of food everywhere they were stinking and it was hectic i have to say it was such such an incredible gameplay as well because there was stuff happening everywhere everywhere you turn the camera bam something happened it was pretty pretty cool and they oh the welcoming wagon was there so it there were a lot of things and actually this lot is placed near the mansion by the ocean lot building <coughs> mansion by the ocean building i just did two builds ago so those people came over and bam they were just past friends and it was pretty pretty cool because they were they are extremely wealthy people and the gypsies are as you can see free spirits <laughs> okay i had a lot of a lot of fun playing at this lot i truly recommend it and i have actually the create a sim video if you wanted to see how i created the family and i think i don't i don't care if you wanted to see i'll post it anyway <laughs> yeah and i'm placing flower pots and everything everything colorful in this and i have to say actually the bills came one day and they were pretty high for an off the grid lot but i think they were counting the um, electricity, I guess, because they don't have appliances. They don't have electronics. They only have the lights to generate, you know, potential bills, I think. Okay, moving on to the inside. The inside was pretty, pretty cool to furnish. I had a lot of time doing this insides and this the middle wagon was supposed to be for the um, main dude and his wife the couple the married couple is going to live in the trailer from the inside and see I was trying to fit a double bed in here and I will I will place it near the wall and actually two sims can sleep in there and I've seen that interaction is pretty pretty cute yum so I'm placing a lot of curtains colorful 
and a lot of patterns because they they actually have a lot of patterns I don't know if they have ever heard of color coordination or something matching but they have a lot of patterns and a lot of colors and I'm placing flowers and everything I could on these shelves actually and it doesn't matter I wanted to place those jars from the kitchen in there just because and you see those lights I think those lights are generating bills maybe maybe if you have like only candles are they going to generate bills I don't know those wall decoration came with laundry day stuff they are amazing, amazing wall decoration. I just love that stuff pack. And I'm not feeling like they robbed me or anything. <laughs> like there are a lot of people who said, whoever wanted the laundry, whatever. But I thought, and I think, they did such an incredible job with this. And I couldn't imagine laundry a better way than this I think it's cool it's pretty pretty cool I love it haters gonna hate I don't know what their expectations are for this game but I think from the parenthood game pack they did a great a wonderful job with everything that came after the parenthood including the parenthood and the movie hangout stuff the stuffs I have to say they're pretty pretty cool yeah there are a lot of them but let's face it Sims 3 had a lot of store items really expensive store items I have to say and yeah oh I oh that sink I think that sink is generating a bit of uh, bills but I've never placed something on a lot and not having bills that is going to be interesting to see and uh, yeah I, le I love that yellow color they introduced in this stuff pack it's gorgeous yeah did a great job with that yellow color I love it so the first trailer is pretty much done now we're moving on to the kids trailer and it's actually the kid trailer the toddler trailer and the sister is going to sleep in here the wife's sister and the teenage brother is going to sleep outside under the stars because there is only one bed left which is a double bed and the old woman sleeps in there and he didn't want to sleep with her because she can move to the wall you know to the what to the other side and let the boy sleep inside but he just wants to live under the stars sleep under the stars so i've tried to make this wagon this trailer this wagon i think as colorful as possible and i think on those chairs i've seen two people two sims sitting on there so if you think that they are Mm, too close to each other the sims can actually sit in there and I was trying to make this as colorful as possible all the colors and all beautiful colors everywhere and actually those curtains pets curtains go extremely well with the I think there are the curtains the game came with an update or something or from the toddler stuff pack I don't know and this trailer is going to have a bookcase and a study, a little study for the kid because one of the kids is going to school because he has to. And the teenage, the teenager is not going to go to school because he doesn't need to. Okay, placing some rugs because they having they're having a lot of rugs with a lot of colors and a lot of patterns that's for sure what else I think this trailer is pretty much done now yes we're moving on to the world 
old woman trailer and see placing the bed outside it came with a dirty treat and it's it's a pretty nice bed to place outside okay first of all first i wanted to start with two beds separate beds in this but then i thought you know what no I think the gypsies value their elders, so the old woman is going to have her own trailer, her own wagon, of course, with a big bed, double bed, and the pet's one was the best. Right now, I'll do this. This is the reading area where the old woman is going to read your future, and I wanted to place a crystal of some sort or a globe but I couldn't find one I'm searching for a globe and the best thing I could find is that thing bird head skeleton I don't know from where is that but it's perfect it's perfect maybe she can read your future or I don't know your past or your death in that globe it's a mystery see that thing it was pretty cool and I would try to clutter the walls with shelves and everything that came with laundry stuff back because they're cool <laughs> they're cool cool stuff and I think we're moving slowly to the end of this video oh no uh, we're going to finish the trailer, yeah. So that thing in there, it's pretty, pretty cute. It's accessible. Everything works works in this build. So I'm not placing things that didn't work or the scenes don't have access to. They are all working. And a bookshelf again, because this door, this is the only source of entertainment they're going to have I guess and a guitar I place a guitar near the fire pit so they can sing I think there's going to be more clutter on this wall and going to be pretty much it more colors because it's I had a lot of fun with this build with these colors and everything and I truly suggest to download this lot because it's pretty much a lot of fun so I thank you for watching, I thank you for being here and subscribing to my channel and I thank you for everything, the support and everything is pretty pretty much amazing. I leave you with the um, screenshots and see you next time, bye! <laughs>